So this thing's pretty fast. Uh, it pulls everything up, you know, at a pretty quick pace. I'm still installing like all of the updates and everything right now, but I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, what we actually have under the hood here. So the Intel N95 processor, it's uh, it's a, basically a laptop processor, but it's also got 16 gigs of RAM, so it's going to be incredibly fast, pulling up your uh, your applications, etc. I'll even show you an example. This is a photo editor I use to do uh, album covers, etc. So, of course almost instantly right up great product buying more this is the Camrui mini PC turned it on for the first time so far it's booting up um, really tiny PC has a bunch of USB ports um, it looks great it's quiet, I don't even hear a fan. Um, this is a startup, so it looks like uh, we're gonna get started here. Okay, so I am setting up the new system, uh, the Kamarui mini PC. So I just uh, plugged it into my TV. First I'll have to change the names, the date. So it's actually just automatically okay that's good change the background actually while I'm doing that let me check the configuration so it's next the egg Okay, so it shows that it has a Windows 11 Pro, 64 bits English, Intel N95, 4 CPUs, 1.7 GHz, 16GB of RAM, page file and DirectX 12, the display is using UHD graphics, okay, okay, that looks good. This, uh, I really hate this. Uh, in the meanwhile, I'll just display settings. So this is supposed to be able to give me a 4K resolution. That's actually 4K resolution, so that's pretty good. Okay, keep changes. So I'm going to check the yeah, task manager, let's see, okay, so the process, so it's currently at idle, it's using uh, around 60%, 40, it's still booting up, so that shouldn't be a problem, performance, okay, so it's up to 2.6. 66 gigahertz which is good which is a good sign means it's actually overclocking okay logical process we have four of them memory speed is 2400 megahertz it shows on the advertisement that it was supposed to be like what 4800 I'll have to check into the BIOS and see what's wrong with this, but I think it should be possible to fix it up. So that's 16 gigs. The disk is 500 gigs. Okay, Kim Tigo SSD. I haven't heard of that before. But, ah, looks good, looks good. So Wi Fi, Realtek AC. Okay. And okay, that looks good. I mean, this basically is going to be my new media center. I'll be changing it. Okay, I'll be changing the Dell I have right there. I know it's dark, but like, 
that's the deal I've been using for a while I will be using this new one it looks good for now I will be trying it a little further and yeah and I will be posting a more detailed review later so that's the unit here over here as you can see it's tiny which I really like so it's like nice with the VGA port because like <laughs> I haven't seen that one for a while I know it's an old one but I have a couple of old monitors that I have never been able to use because I don't have the port and it has two HDMI's and Ethernet port and another USB port and power in there mm. Mm. And from this side, it's the power button, and yeah, we have like three USB A ports. So yeah, uh, it looks good for now. I'll have to try it a little further, and like I said, I'll write a better review later on. I'm back. I was talking about the memory frequency, but it wasn't showing the proper one, it was only showing to 1400. So, I actually managed to figure out how to change it to 4800 and I will show you how to do it in this video. I'll later on like merge both videos so you'll be able to see how it's done as well. So, first of all, I'm shutting it down. I will turn it on and I will be pressing on escape to actually get into the BIOS. Okay. Force shut it down. Okay. Okay, so okay, so here and then clicking on escape. And that gets us back to the BIOS. Okay. So now I'll have to go to uh, it was under chipset memory configuration. And I'm changing the two thousand four hundred to 4800 as advertised okay so and that will be the maximum frequency going back going back I'm not changing anything else the boot is good everything else is good and save save and exit yes okay so it will restart right now the boot now I'll go to task manager go back to performance memory okay so now it's up to 2667 uh, hopefully that should be I mean hopefully it will work out from there. Let me try something. CPU CPU Z download this one.
Okay, so to like Intel Core Elder Lake, which is the latest one. Well, not the latest, it's like 12th generation, which is still good. The main board memory. Okay, so for the memory, it shows that it's 16 gigabits. It, the, and here, it's showing me that it's Micron Technology Kingston. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I, I mean, it went up from 2,400. I'll just have to try it a bit more and see if I can up up to 4,800. So, okay, and that is basically it.